Welcome to Epic Airsoft HD. Today we review the Jing Gong G3 A3. Okay, today we're looking at the budget range of AEGs. We're going to start with the Jai G uh, G3 A3. Uh, this gun is mostly made from polymer or plastic construction so let's go through some of the features of the gun. Here we've got a metal flash head or barrel and front sight. The grip here is entirely made from plastic however the cock and lever is metal. The body of the gun and the stock where houses, where houses the battery and the grip is also plastic. The magazine is a 500 round high capacity type with a wheel on the bottom. The accessories we've added to this gun are this top rail here from Hurricane, you can get for around $20 and the Tasco 4x optic on the top there as well. The hop up for this gun is accessible by pulling the cotton lever and opening the ejection port and it's the G36 type winding wheel there that adjusts your hop. So this is our first budget gun we've done, let's go see how it does on the range against the other high end guns. So as you saw by this test, uh, the gun's not as accurate as some of the higher end guns that we've tested before. Uh, the spread is, is pretty bad there, but we've got a nice close grip in here, so we're going to measure that instead. That measures 120 by 70 millimeters, which is not too bad considering this gun's one of the budget guns that JG do. Now we move on to the 0.3 gram BB, as opposed to the 2 gram. Uh, as you can see, the grip in here is much tighter. Uh, this bubble here is actually the fully auto bust we did and this range here is the semi-auto. Unfortunately the gun wobbled quite a bit because it's made of plastic and that's what's really thrown our results off here with the fill all test. Uh, this here again is 120 but by a much narrower 60 millimeters. It's pretty good. For $150, or £120 roughly in the UK, this is a really good gun for a starter or for even for guys who are looking for a backup rifle. I actually find it really nice, nice narrow hand grip, grips really nice and it's nice and light because it's made of plastic, which also lets it down because it makes it a bit more flimsy. If you want to compare this gun to some of the high-end ones we've tested before, click on the links here. If you want to see our next episodes, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> really f stupid. I can't get to the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that by clicking on the links on the left hand side. Uh, that it compares pretty well. The links are on the right hand side. Look to your left but on the screen's right. I did do that though. Yeah, but you said on, on the left hand side, but that's the right hand side. Ah, oh, f right, okay, we'll need to do that again. Four. Click on the links on the left hand side if you want to see more of it. Ah, oh, f <laughs> that's going to end up now, take it. Right. <laughs> like a f***ing f bono kind of guy. I need my quail's egg cocktails. <laughs> it's f***ing virgin chicken pillows, some. Right, okay.